The R8 needs to convey a lot of features from the Le Mans cars. The light signature is very influenced by the Le Mans cars passing by the paddocks. Straight away we want to create this for the street. Audi has decided to present the R8 fight in London because we believe England and English public has a great knowledge of motorsport. And these cars are just motorsport pure. In this car there's a lot of new technology. These two vertical elements are taking place also here. They create this automatic bond to motorsport. This line, also reminiscent from the first generation R8, is now really going down and enclosing the blade on the side. This line is also separated now and then starts again as a blister at the back. This is stretching the car and is pushing optically the center of gravity of that car really low. We find on wildcats, on horses, that the back of the animal is really pushing, is really supporting the acceleration. The center of power of this car is here and it has to express this power as well. Using the lower blade makes a stronger bond between the coupe and the spider, which was not the case before. Designing a convertible is very important that we define the roof kinematic and the roof type from the start. The natural curvature of the car is giving us the perfect free room here in this area above this engine. The R8 Spider is a flagship car, is an image car. It's a technology window to what Audi is able to achieve.